I'm not telling you this to scare you. Merely to inform you. There is a reason we fear the dark. Let me show you. Yerks are a species of parasitic, slug-like creatures of the children's sci-fi novel series, Animorphs. A yerk will enter its host through the ear, flatten itself, travel through the ear canal until it reaches the brain, and then envelope it entirely. Once this has happened, it will take over all of that creature's voluntary functions, including motor skills, communication, and body motion. Seeping into the crevices of the brain, it can look through its host's memories and secrets to learn everything about them. The host then becomes little more than a voice in its own head as the parasite drives it around like a living vehicle. Yerks must leave a host body every three days in order to absorb a nutrient called candrona. Candrona is a type of energy produced by the sun near the yerks' homeworld. Later, they developed Candrona Ray machines so that they could travel the stars in host bodies and not starve. Because of their slug-like nature, they often construct Candrona pools so that while they feed, they may swim around and be comfortable. As soon as the Yerk leaves its host, the host regains control of their body and functions. Unfortunately, the Yerks are smart enough to either restrain or cage their hosts beforehand so that they don't lose them. The Yerk government is that of an empire, with a council of thirteen to run it. Below them are their main leaders, the Viziers and the sub -Viziers. The only problem with their ranking system is that the Viziers work independently of each other and are prone to infighting to try and increase their own rank. During the novel series, the main villain is Vizier III, third highest ranking general of the entire Yerk Armada. The Yerks successfully invaded and conquered several planets with their Shadow War tactics and became interested in Earth because of the billions of potential host bodies it had with little to no defenses. The novel series quoted Vizier III as saying that they would have to build a thousand new Yerk Kandrana pools to feed the sheer numbers needed to take them all. Eventually, it was implied that there were around three billion Yerks traveling the stars, and Earth at the time had five point eight billion people. Earth was a potential gold mine to produce strong sentient soldiers for the Yerk Empire. Once a Yerk has latched onto a host and has read through its memories, it's almost impossible to tell them apart from a normal person. The only way to catch one is to notice unusual behavior and entrap the host someplace for three days so that the Yerk will starve and crawl out on its own. This happens several times in the book series and is compared to experiencing surgery while awake and combining that with a massive hangover. In their slug form, they are perfectly mortal, but good luck telling which one of your friends is infected with this parasite when it reads their memories and acts just like them.